Tommy with Elevation every weekend. Welcome back to the channel. As we are just about to get into 2024, I wanted to share some updates with my Surly Fat Bikes, two 2014 Surly Pugsleys, and a 2020 Surly Ice Cream Truck. These bikes haven't seen nearly as much action in 2023 because I was spending a lot of my time testing various Borealis Fat Bikes. And of course that will continue with my Borealis Flume. But I do have time now to mix the Surly Fat Bikes back into the mix a little bit more, especially as the Pugsleys reach their 10 year anniversary as true fat bike classics. As I move through this video, I will reference a number of other more detailed videos I've done on these bikes and various components. And I will have all of these linked down below if you wanna dive deeper on any of these aspects. So first off, I wanna start with the bike that really hasn't had any change recently, nor is there any intended as it's pretty much dialed in. And that's my wife's 2014 Surly Pugs Ops. Right after we bought this bike a few years back, I immediately upgraded the tires with 4.3 inch Surly Edna tires, replacing the stock 4 inch Surly Nate tires. And I think the Ednas really work great on the Pugsley. I also added the Surly Maloko bars in the corresponding bag. So this bike really is quintessential Surly and it works great. With the Maloko bars and bag installed, it makes the bike really easy to ride and easy to store items, which has been great when I can get my wife out with me on the fat bikes. Last year I had the Ren one rack on this bike on for some time and I may even put it back on again later this winter if we need it. However, for now, I'm leaving the rack off just to keep the weight down a little bit more. So otherwise, no changes are planned for this bike. So next up is my black 2014 Surly Pugsley. This was the standard variant of this bike. This was also my first fat bike and I bought it used in early 2016. I used this bike in bone stock form for the first couple years and it's the bike that gradually fueled my love for fat biking not only in the snow but in the dirt too. It became my most fun grab and go bike to go ride local reservoir trails in the dirt as time went on I swapped out the heavy and uncomfortable 27 TPI Surly Nate tires which were the low grade wire bead variant and this was the first bike I added the 4.3 Ednas to and realized a major improvement in ride quality and performance. These tires not only increased the capability of the bike due to the larger tire volume but they were significantly lighter and faster rolling so performance was also greatly improved. It really helped to make this old steel frame fat bike Pretty nimble and fun. Last year, I added an adapter to the bike to pull the dog trailer, which is hopefully something you'll see on the channel more in the future. The newest change to my Pugsley is something you've seen on the channel before, both in its own review and on my Surly Ice Cream Truck, and that's the Ren Perseverance Adventure Bars. I'll talk about why I took these off of the ice cream truck more in just a moment, but as it turns out, the base Pugsley is actually a great fit for these bars. The wider hand position on the Ren Bars is actually a big improvement over the stock narrow bars that the Pugsley came with, and I think I will actually utilize the arrow position on the Ren bars more on the Pugsley because it's much more nimble than the ice cream truck. It can actually carry much more speed, at least for a steel frame fat bike. So as I mentioned, not only is this bike a great grab and go bike just for a quicker ride in town, on those days when the wind is kicking up around here in Colorado, having the aero position will make it much more fun to ride and counter the wind. As for the feature with this bike, I think once these larger Edna tires reach their end, I may actually go back down to a slightly smaller and lighter four inch tire, something higher quality like the Terrine Cake Eater. And I really optimize this bike for general use, especially in the dirt, as it's not really a bike I use in the snow much anymore, especially up in the backcountry. And last but not least, here are the changes I've made to my 2020 Surly ice cream truck. The ICT is already on the heavy side, even in stock form, with its all steel frame and large volume 26 inch tires. So speaking of the tires, the stock Surly Bud and Lou tires, which were a great combination for this bike, did finally reach their end and need to be replaced. I decided to take that opportunity and really push this bike into the maximum extreme side of the scale. So I actually decided to increase the tire volume and aggressiveness with the Terrine Johnny 5s. So while this also increased max traction and capability, it did also add just a little more weight, especially in that rolling inertia and resistance. About a year and a half ago, I added a PNW dropper seat post to the ICT. Another move which definitely improved capability, especially in the snow, but again, it added weight. So after I got the run Perseverance bars, I added them to the ICT and actually really enjoyed them on that bike. However, I did find on the ice cream truck, I really wasn't using those bars to their potential. While utilizing the aero position on the Ren bars on the ice cream truck did make the bike marginally faster and more efficient. Over time, I began to feel that because the bike was already so heavy, the additional weight of the Ren bars wasn't paying dividends on this specific bike because by now the ride weight of the bike had ballooned to about 38 pounds. As a result, I made the decision to move back to the stock aluminum bar and stem. This was not only to let me better utilize the Ren bars on the Pugsley, but it also 
also let me shave over a pound and a half off the ice cream truck. I even briefly considered buying a set of carbon bars to add to the ice cream truck to try to cut even a little more weight, but ultimately I decided that the weight savings was very minor and the cost to benefit ratio on this wasn't really worth it. So I'm really excited now to get the ice cream truck back out there in a slightly lighter form, but while also using the benefit of the dropper seat post and the larger, more aggressive tires. So that is the latest on my Surly Fat Bikes. So if you found this video enjoyable, or if you just want to support fat biking in the YouTube algorithm, drop a like down below. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, or things you'd like to see with any of these fat bikes, drop those down in the comments down below. And if you want to continue to follow future videos with these bikes and all of my other bikes, subscribe to the channel now. It's free for you with the click of a single button, and it will ensure you won't miss any future videos. Lots more coming, so stay tuned. Thanks a lot, and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.